What do you want? That's right, what do you want? That is the question that you have to answer. And, and you have to really want it. Not because someone else says, oh, you should do this, it's a good idea, it'll help you accomplish X, Y, Z. No, you have to really want it. You have to want something so bad that on those days where you don't want to work towards your goal, you're going to pick yourself up off the ground and you're going to work towards your goal, even if it's just a little bit. You might have some days where you decide not to work on your goals, and that happens. But you really have to want it. You have to kind of look back, and this is going to sound bad, but you have to look at those days as failures. Because if you want something, if you want something really, really bad, you will work towards that goal, and you will do whatever it takes to accomplish it. There's a lot of people that struggle in life. Everyone struggles. No one is bulletproof. Everyone has problems. We all struggle. You might look at someone else and say, oh, they, they really have it together. No, no, they don't. Everyone struggles. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how good looking you are. It doesn't matter how successful you are. Everyone has problems because we're all human beings. And the trick the secret to getting out of whatever it is that is ailing you is to find something and want it. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you some steps you can follow so that if you feel like you just don't have things figured out, if you feel like you're just you're lacking direction and, and you don't know what to do and you don't know how to fix it, hopefully this video will, will set you on some path. And you can go on the internet and you can Google, you know, how do I do X, Y, Z? And you'll find some website and it'll give you 10 tips uh, of great advice. It'll probably say something like set manageable goals, uh, you know, practice, uh, you know, all, all the standard advice. And I've made videos where I give standard advice. But in this video, I want to give you some non-standard advice. So step one, find out what you really want. If you want to get a math degree, then make that a priority. I'm going to get a math degree. If you want to be a doctor, and this is one that I feel like a lot of people that I've known who've wanted to become doctors, they follow through. A lot of respect for all of the students I've had that have become doctors. Those people work so hard, so hard. A lot of respect. You have to want it. Find out what it is you want to do, whether it be mathematics, physics, computer science, getting in shape, getting a better job. What life do you want? And then work towards it. But you have to want it. That, that's the key. That's step one. Not only that, I think that your goals should be unrealistic. I don't think you should set realistic goals as your, as your main goal. I think you should have a lofty goal, which you may never accomplish, but you got to have something to work towards. So that when you reach your intermediate goals, when you reach a certain level of happiness and success, whatever that means to you, you still have something to work towards. So have some big picture goal for your life. And a lot of times when you tell people about your big picture goals, they aren't going to react the way you want to react. So, you know, maybe don't tell anyone. If you don't feel comfortable telling anyone, if you feel like the people in your life are going to criticize you or... or give you backlash for discussing your dreams. Don't discuss them with anybody. Just have your own private lofty goals and don't tell anyone about them. Just, those are your goals. And those are your big picture goals, Wh whatever they may be. Maybe you wanna become an astronaut. I mean, I know that's something that's extremely hard, right? Becoming an astronaut and flying to space is like one of the hardest things you can do. Or Maybe you want to become a chemist and work at a lab and develop some new like anti-cancer drug to help people. Whatever it is, set your lofty goals. But you have to want them. It's not just like, oh, you know, I really wish I had a lot of money and I was rich. No, no, you got to have a goal that means something to you. Something that, I mean, I guess that could mean something to you, but how? How are you going to do that, right? Have something a little bit more concrete. Maybe you want to start your own company in a specific field to do something or create something new, whatever it is, set that lofty goal. So once you have these, these lofty goals, by the way, 
I think they should be twofold. I think your lofty goals should be uh, both physical and, 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 and mental, right? You should have goals that um, affect you physically and mentally. So by mentally, I mean, you know, intellectual goals, financial goals, things that um, you can accomplish with your mind and also physical goals because you, you want to stay in good shape, right? So train your mind, train your body, as I always say. You want, you want both. You don't want to just be really smart and successful and overweight. You also don't want to be in great shape and poor. You, you want to be successful. You want to be a well-rounded individual. You want to have your best life. There's this show I used to watch. It's a great show. Maybe you've seen it. It's called The Office. And there's this character in the show. His name is Daryl. He works in the warehouse. And there's this episode where he says, I'm just trying to live my best life. And I remember that episode and I'm like, yeah, Daryl's right. You should try to live your best life. So set those lofty goals. Try to be in great shape. Try to be intelligent. Try to be financially successful. Try to have the best possible life and set those lofty goals. So after you have your lofty goals, which, which is super important, right? It's super important to have these lofty and believe that you can accomplish them. You have to believe because nobody else is going to believe in you as much as you. Your belief in yourself is more important than someone else believing in you. You can't look to other people for confirmation. You can't look to other people for support in, in those times. You have to be able to believe in your goal and use that as motivation to continue to work towards your goals. Because nobody cares about you more than you. Right? Nobody. That's the truth. So you have these big lofty goals. So how do you accomplish them? There's all kinds of stuff you can look up on the internet. You can look up stuff that'll give you a plan. And I'm not saying you shouldn't. You should do research, find good sources. You know, if you want to invest in real estate and become like a real estate tycoon, you know, join some of the more popular internet forums on real estate. Read with the critical eyes. A lot of fear-based stuff on the internet. Fear is, is a big one. But you have to make your own decisions. And work towards your goals. Try to work towards your goal every day, just a little bit just a little bit. And eventually you'll get there. As long as you have those really big picture goals and, and you really want them, you know, how you get there is a whole other story. But as long as you have those goals that are lofty and you really care about them, I think you can get there. And I think that society doesn't really, I don't know, it's, you're not going to find support, I think, for those things. You know, if, if you go to your parents or your friends and you tell them that, I don't know, let's just go back to being an astronaut. They're gonna be like, oh, my son wants to be an astronaut or oh, my friend wants to be an astronaut. What are the chances he's gonna be an astronaut? You know, those are things that they're just so hard to become and hard to reach. People are going to naturally be skeptical because that's how we are as humans. We tend to criticize and analyze things. So keep your goals secret, create lofty goals and then find out how to work towards them. I think working towards a goal every day is, is a good thing. You know, if you work towards your goal every day, it's a good stepping stone. Anyways, just a rant video on, on how to get your life together. People are always talking about, you know, what can I do to fix things in my life? It really comes down to wanting something and believing that you can do it. If you want something and, and you believe that you can accomplish it, it doesn't matter how realistic it is. If you really want something and you believe you can do it, you're going to get out there and you're going to work on it every single day or almost every day. And I think that's the first step. So figure out what you want, right? And then go for it. Good luck.